Okay, so we are now in mathematical system, third quarter, week one. So, good evening again. So, so our objectives for this day is to describe a mathematical system. Second, illustrate the need for an axiomatic structure of a mathematical system in general and in geometry in particular. So, these are the defined terms, and defined terms, postulates, and theorems. So, sad to say, PDF mangun ni hindi siya kuan for points and makita ang flow. So, what is mathematical system? It is the study of geometry. The study of geometry is founded. Gusganan ko atong kuan. <laughs> Makuan siya anyway. Hindi na to edit. The study of geometry is founded in a system of statements of truths that build on each other or that lead to each other. So, Basically, uh, the same way sa itong body na system, no? So, sa geometry, sa math po, specifically the geometry kay, magamit maguni siya ang mga kini siya sa uh, geometry. So, system. So, these are the statements of truths built on each other or lead to each other. So, national relationship. So, these are the four parts of mathematical system. So, th these are the undefined terms, defined terms, or they are called definitions, postulates, other term for postulates, actions, and theorems. So, what are the difference? So, undefined terms, these are the terms or words that do not require further explanation or description. You, so, Hindi na nang kailangan ng explanation or description. No? Farther. And they are used to define or explain more complicated terms or concepts. So, muna yung undefined terms. So, from that, usually, ang undefined terms, we use that to define terms. So, gamit na siya sa definitions. So, as it says here, use, define, use undefined terms. Or terms previously defined to give a clear meaning of a word or a phrase. So, gamit niya undefined terms. How about the postulate? So, a postulate is a statement that is accepted without proof. There are statements class na they're accepted without proof. Accepted lang siya. The same sa reality na yung mga statements na no need for proof. No? Accepted na siya. Uh, example, uh, what are the examples of real life? Um, there is a sun <laughs> on the earth. So, I, yeah, rotating in the sun. So, na sun, jud. So, no need the man siya na siya approve. Okay. Na alam ang existence niya good. So, accept na siya. Anyway, sa so math na ingan ay mga statements. So, later, we'll, we'll encounter push, postulates. And lastly, theorem. So, these are the statement need to be proven first before accepted as true. So, so previous of the second quarter, the, the fourth week, on ating mga statements that we prove true siya. Kung nili true, we give counterexample. By the way, are you there? Yes. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma uh, so, ang theorem, kinawin siya i-prove. So, the same sa science, di ba, kanya mga theory, theory of evolution. So, na-proven na ba ng theory of evolution? O theory, nag-yapon siya, di ba? Hmm. So, sa math kay, na-proven theorems. Accepted siya nga true kung na-proven na siya. Okay? So, these are the examples of... Undefined terms, definitions, postulates, theorems. So, undefined terms, but hindi na natin ba ka-encounter since elementary pa ta. The building blocks of geometry. Point, line, plane. Muna sila. Undefined terms sila. The definitions, these are came from or derived from undefined terms or other terms. So, these are collinear points, line segment, ray. So, specific mood ang kaya definitions. Postulates, example, straight line postulate, plane postulate. Sample lang na, pero daghan dyan kayo class. So, daghan sa summary sa inyong module, ipanghatag dyan to. Theorems, example, Pythagorean theorem, vertical angles theorem, daghan kayo. So, sample lang na siya. 
So let's proceed to undefined terms. So let's have here the figure. You have there the dot. So that is a point. The dot represents the point. So a point suggests an exact location in space. So we, we note, uh, we read that as point A. Or kung magpangalan ta na dot A or pwede point A. Pwede man ta magpangalan as, as symbolic dot A or point A. Ano no? So, so word point A. So, sa line na po, naatay ka ng uh, naatay line. So, pag yung kagline class is a set of points arranged in a row. So, it is extended endlessly and lessly in both directions. So, kanang arrow dira, nagpasabot na endless, wala si kahumanan. So, infinite siya. So, line na siya sa, sa ato amang good, basta straight line. Pero sa math, that means to say, endless, wala ka kahumanan. Infinite. So, set of points na siya. So, sa A, sa drawing, na alam dira, duha ka points, sige, gipakita. So, these are points V and points R. Pero in reality, class, ay, Ang, ang definition ko sa line is set of points. So, daghan ka na. So, nagtapatapad na points, muna nakahimo siya line. So, it is a one-dimensional figure. So, two points determine a line. Muna no, na, na, you can have two points plus it determines a line. They determine a line. And then, that is two distinct points are contained by exactly one line. So, two distinct Points. So, when you say distinct, they are different. Contained by exactly one line. So, dili pwede nga si points R and V na apod sa line in line, dili. Distinct is sa isa line. Exactly one line. So, we use a lowercase letter or any two points in the line to name the line. So, there are two ways in naming a line. So, kung naigiban na lang a small letter, Ako na emphasize siya sa grade 7 na aman good ni siya. Pero iba rin ako emphasize. So, magpangalan ka ka ng line. First, you could use line M. So, kung na small letter the ang given, so gamitan ng small letter. So, line M. Ang nasa figure. Pero for example, na L din ang small letter. So, you could name that as line L. And the other one is, you use the two points given. So, points R and V. So, R, V, din na, din kay line sa taas. No? So, we could, we could re read that as line R, V. Claro? Yes, ma'am. Okay. And the other one for undefined terms is the plane. A plane is a set of points in an endless flat surface. Endless flat surface. So, kung ang line, one-dimensional siya, so, ini, two-dimensional na siya. So, the following determine a plane. And, ano ni, o mga, ano ni, no, difference, three non-collinear points. So, pag nasabing non-collinear points, di, they do not uh, lie on the same line. So, they are, they are pwede po to intersecting lines. That, that determine a line. Two parallel lines or a line and a point not on the line. A point ta ka nang, bali, ang isa ka another, another point. That point is not on the given line. We use a lowercase letter. <coughs> Kung naan dalay, lowercase. Or three points on the plane to name the plane. So, example, plane PQR. Use three, three letters there. Or pwede po ka ng symbolic, ka ng masyag square. That's a question ko. Square nga, or lateral nga figure. Then PQR da yun. So that is how to name a line and a plane. So, I yeah, line and plane and point. Okay, any questions? None, ma'am. None, ma'am. Okay, next definitions. Okay. An angle, so, money ang mga kuan. Usual ng mga definitions. These are from the given. These are from the given. Ano, derived from the given. 
undefined terms. So derived from the undefined terms line, ang, uh, no, line, plane, and point. So first angle, a union of two non-collinear rays with common endpoints. So I think we need to de define first the ray. Okay. No light no ray. So this array, array is also part of a line. So part of the analysis or subset, but that's only one endpoint. So ang line ke two endpoints man, I know. I mean, endless man ang, ang, ang line. Mali infinite in both sides. Array, isa lang yung kuan, endless siya. Isa lang siya ka direction. And extends endlessly in one direction, as I've said. We, we name array by its endpoint and one of its endpoints. We always start on the endpoint. The figure is ray AB. Example here, no? Or we can also name that as ray AC. It is not correct to name it as ray BA or ray CA. Ano man, baliktad man siya. So, careful magpangalan sa ray. So, start yun ka sa endpoint, then mus Next day, second na point na we're in dito pa dulong ang, eh, ang infinite direction. So, for example, kini ang uh, kini siyang uh, example sa so ray AB. Okay, ang A man, kay mo na endpoint man siya. So, again, ang, ang ray, okay, na isa ka endpoint then extends endlessly in one direction. So, you could name this a ray AB or ray AC. Pero na siya kung pasabot ni mo. Okay. Kung may gray A, B mo pa da yun, magyapo na siya. Antod na ma-intersect niya sa C. So, the same, magyapo na. Si Ray A, C po, kung extend po siya, iya, magyapo nang ma-agian si B, point B. So, pariyan na siya. So, then. So, now let's go back to angle is a union of two non-collinear rays. So, when you see non-collinear, they do not lie on the same line with common endpoint. So, nasa common endpoint, no? Sayang, bilang jud na ko siya mo. Ay, pwede di ko maka-edit na nito. So, money siya endpoint. Money ang, money ang endpoint. Or ang tawag niya is vertex. Or it is called vertex. Dilaw na na. Muna ang vertex. Common endpoint. Common endpoint sa dua ka ray. No? So, kini na yung kuan. Kini diri ako na siya. Ano sila? Muna ang dua ka sides. Sides of the angle. No? Sides. Again, ang pawag nila ka na sides. So, then, so, ang common endpoint nila, ang tawag niya, vertex. So, the same lagi po ng mga example da sa angles. So, then, okay. Another definition is line segment. Just like ray, a line segment is a part of a line also that has two endpoints. So, kini, ang reggae na in one direction extends siya endlessly. endlessly. But sa kanan line segment, na siya two ka endpoints. So, for example, kining figure. We define a line segment AB as a subset of line AB. Consisting of points A and B and all the points between them. If the line to which a line segment belongs is given a scale so that it turns to, into the real line, then the length of a segment can be determined by getting the distance between its endpoints. So in short class, ang line segment, ma-identify na to yung length. Unlike sa line, kuan mo siya infinite ang line, di na to ma-determine yung, yung measurement or length. Ang line segment, ma-determine na to ay yung um, yung measurement. So, say for example, for this figure, kini a, uh, you can name this line AD, a line segment AD. So, ingin yung pagpangalan, line segment AD. We're in, in between them na ay points, 
label the class a b c d so a b c d uh, we could name this line segment a d or line segment the a we're referring to the same line segment okay Okay, ma'am, naalagay ito yung sa module, ma'am, nga, segment DA. Then, na, na po yung walay, walay buta na kabutang ana. Okay, pag kinigali ang given, you are referring to the length. Length of segment DA or segment AD. Sabtan, kung walay siya yung segment sa taas, you are referring to the length. Gipangita, a length na siya. Sabtan? Hello, yes, are you there? Yes, ma'am. Uh, example, yes, ma this measures yes, ma 3 inches. I know. 3 centimeters. Yeah. So, um, pwede kam ingon na the length of day A is 3 centimeters. Pero ang samang kamagang itong kuwami, ngang ka dito nga, Ray DA is congruent. Kini nga simbola, congruent na ter segment DA. So, dara, mag-use mag usually. Nasabdan? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Going back to angles, kinaapod na yun natin yung ani. So, mingon ka og sample, this is angle A. A, nakabutang A. Da. So, the measure of angle A measure. So, you're talking about its measurement. Measure of angle A. So, for example, this is 30 degrees. So, 30 degrees. Okay. And another angle here, B. Assuming lang ha. 30 degrees kya po. So, ang, the measure of angle B is also 30 degrees. So, that means to say, you could, you could uh, conclude that angle A is congruent to angle B. Definition is actually class. Definition of congruent angles, if the two angles have the same measure, then they are congruent. On converse, Anna, if the two angles are congruent and they have the same measure, I'm going to So, if the two angles have the same measure, they are con then they are congruent. But if the two angles are congruent and they have the same measure. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. We're done with this. Okay, now let's proceed to another definitions. Manam ganan ani yung mag PDF kasi wa edit maguna ko sa tab pero pag ko ani na komedyo. Collinear points, these points that lie on the same line. Example na itay figure. A point F point T and then point R. Then. So, can you give three points that are collinear based on the figure there that I draw? Class. Anybody? Three points that are collinear. Again, collinear points are points that lie on the same line. Or, Tagalogin natin, collinear points, di, ito yung mga points na makikita sa isang linya. So, can you give three points that lie on the same line? Or, collinear points? AFP. Okay, yes. These are points... A, F, T. 
Naintindihan? Yes, ma'am. Okay. You have their non-collinear yes, points. These are points that do not contained on the same line. So, kapag talang ito ng collinear points. So, can you give three points that are non-collinear? Three points that are non-collinear. A, F, R. Okay, pwede. Points. A, F, R. Pwede po T, R, F. Whatever the combinations. Pwede po T, R, A. Basta na isa dito nga wala siya sa linya. Okay. They are called non-collinear. Claro? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma proceed with, uh, proceed with yes. complainer points. Complainer points, they lie on the same plane. Hindi ko makalang pili. Ang doon ko. Maklaro niyo akong doon. Another plane. Yes, Medyo blur. A blur siya. Okay. You have there a plane which has points F, points R, points O. And also the plane, points M and point N. Okay. Can you give three points that lie on the same plane or coplanar po coplanar points? R F O. Oh uh, yeah. So these are points R F O. Okay. How about non coplanar points? Are these are points that are not contained on the same plane? Point M and N. F M N. Oh yeah. Points. F M N. So next intersection is a set of points that is common to both figures. So intersection. Yeah, na intersect. Common na common. Intersection could be a point. Point. Ganong point man. On sa man eh, intersection sa duha ka linya. So, kung ang duha ka line, ma-intersect, it is a point. Dahil <laughs> na sa kuan, sa inyong module. Pag duha po ko, duha po ka plane, mag-intersect, their intersection is a line. Uh, na sometimes, ma-intersect po ang mga plane. So, na po si common na plane. Okay, question. And the next, the space. Space is a set of all points. Okay. Okay. Proceed to another here. You have there. Uh, actually, this is illustration. So you have there a uh, prism. A prism. So you have there. Na yung mga planes sa prism. Pre, uh, plane no. Plane A B C D. Plane A D F G. Plane C B C E. H. Follow. Naon na yung figure? Yes, ma'am. Na po plane. Yes, ma'am. E, F, G, H. Na, no? So, from this, ingon siya, points, points, A, B, H, I, E, R, collinear points. Sige, na na to, ah. Kini si A, si B, ay, pair mo na yun A and B, collinear sila? One minutes lang one. Collinear sila? Anawa? Are they collinear? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Um, sa kalinya, na siya sa kalinya. Okay? Okay, next. Another na pud na pair. I group. 
H I and E. Say so say H C I C E. Are they collinear? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Ano mang collinear yes, ma sila? A line. Ano collinear sila. Yeah, the line on the same lines. Line segment or line. Pag may yung kog line, apila dila ang line segment. Kung ano general term mo ng line. Okay, next. G, J, I, G. They are non-collinear points. Are they? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. What do you mean by non-collinear? Points that don't lie on the same line. They do not lie on the same line. Line. Okay, okay next. Points F, D, E, C are coplanar points. F, D, D, D. Wag lang sa ubus class. F, D, E, C. Kita na niyo? Merglubot sa kuan prism. Bottom. Are they coplanar? Yes, ma'am. Sa box mo na, sa ilalom niya sa box, yeah, coplanar siya. Imagine baka ninyo ni. Okay, next. FCD, CG, 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 C and G are non-coplanar points. Are they? No. Non-coplanar. Yes, they, they are. They do not lie yes. on the same plane. Kasi C na sa dito nga side sa prism. Then, Ang si G, sa ceiling siya, or si atop, then napo siya sa kilid. Wala agad sa intersection. So, they are non-coplanar. Next. The intersection of line GH, GH, and line BH is point H. Sinood ba? Ang i-drawing na. Money line GH, then napo line BH. <coughs> BH. Ano? Nag-intersect daw sila sa point H. Tinood ba? Yes, yes ma'am. Okay, that's correct. Okay, next. Um, line AB is the intersection of plane ABG. So, itong i-drawing na. Si line, uh, plane ABG. So, mauna si plane ABG. And then another plane ABC. Kineo. Balay mo lang ang ato po ngayon kilid. Na-visualize ninyo sa iyong karton. <laughs> Makuha na sa karton. Okay. Ila daw intersection kay si line AB? Sakto mo. Sakto na? No? Visualize pa sa tangan? Visualize? Yes, yes ma'am. Okay. Anod. Points G and J are coplanar but non-collinear. Si ato, wala siyang doing one. Uh, G. And then si J. Coplanar siya. Ina, naman ni kiniman ni siya ako. Ano ba? Kininga plane. Now, kining a plane. A skillet sa box. Coplanar sila per non-collinear. Ano kaya? You know? You know ba? Non-collinear siya? Oh, yes. Yes, kaya ang kalay ni G kay si H. Kakolinear. And also F. Pwede po niya kolinear. Or si J. Lahi man si J. So, tinawad na siya ng statement. Understand? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Now, let's proceed yes, to postulates. So, let's postulates. A statement that is accepted true without a proof. Is that correct? 
Tama ba ang postulate? Yes, okay. yes ma'am. Okay, so mo nais lang mga statement na di na kinahanglan na we prove. Okay. So, we have their straight line postulate. So, this postulate, two points are contained in exactly one line. Ako naman na talk about ina. Ang dua ka points contain in exactly one line. No? Siya pwede. Kaya agad dua ka points. So, for example, points A, B, points A and B, di siya pwede nasa uban na points. They contained only in exactly one line. Remember that. Okay, next. Points existent push, existence postulate. Every line contains at least two distinct points. So, at least two distinct, huh? Distinct points. Pwede two or more, but per distinct, siya dapat. Kung siya pasapot ang distinct, class? Ito ang distinct. So, they are different in nature, so something else or uh, different din sila. Different na sila ang mga distinct point. Dili mo kapaliha. Si points A being balik-balik, dili pwede. Lailay, hindi na mga points. Okay. Flat plane postulate. Two points are in a plane. Then the line containing the points is in the same plane. No? So, then the line containing the points is in the same plane. Tinood. Nasa doon yun? Picture out? Ingun siya, two points are in a plane. So, nakakas sa po, points A, B. And then, the line, sa tulong line, containing the points, kini nga two points. So, kani siya nga line. No? Is in the same plane. So, klaro. Kana agad ang two points na asa sa plane din. Kana po na two points na asa rin niya. So, they are in the same plane, which is plane M. So, by the way, you can you can name a plane using yon one letter. Kana ba tong naalas sa kilid? Nang wala siya, wala siya. Do not represent a point. So, you can name a point, plane M. Okay? Nasabda na? Yes. Okay, another postulate. Plane postulate. Three non-collinear points are contained in exactly one plane. Non-collinear points, ha? Are contained in exactly one plane. The same sa line. Two, two points contained in exactly one line. So, kini sa plane, tulo dapat sa line, duara. <coughs> and then, line intersection postulate. Two lines intersect, then their intersection is a point. Naani siya doon sa tungkuan class. Uh, module last time. So, Manila intersection. For example, line AE and line BB or BD. So, inter intersection nila is point what? C. Okay, correct. C. Another postulate is plain intersection postulate. Two planes intersect, then their intersection is a line. So, muna kong giingon. Ang dua ka plane ma-intersect, ilang intersection is a line. Okay? Okay, next is ruler postulate. The points in a line can be matched one-to-one -one one with real numbers in such a way that to every point in the line, there corresponds exactly one number called its coordinate. Tama siya, no? Kada isa ka point sa sa linya, na siya corresponding one point, one number. That is its coordinate. So, example, example kini, uh, this point D corresponds to what point? What coordinate? Class, what coordinate?
What point? I mean, point D corresponds to what coordinate? Zero. Zero. Yeah, Zero. very good. How about point F? Corresponds Six. to? Six. Okay. To every real number, proceed to the next. Next dot. To every real number, there, is cor there corresponds exactly one point in the line. Yeah. So, kini, okay, unsa maning corresponds? Number negative nine corresponds to point? A. Okay, correct. The distance between two points is equal to the absolute value with difference of their coordinates. Okay, monisha ang. So, distance is the equal to absolute value, example, of the difference of their coordinates. Example, when say distance sa uh, A and B, distance of A and B, or of segment AB, uh, AD rather, AD, AD. Negative 9. Okay. May ngunay ko nga, distance sa uh, iligan to ko kayan kay negative 9 kilometers. Tama ba? Negative 9 kilometers? No, ma'am. Gili, ma'am. Wala. Ang simali dito? Ang negative. Ang negative. Okay. Because we are, we are talking about distance, so positive dyan na siya. That is why we need to have the absolute value. Difference of their coordinates. So, AD man na siya. So, difference to nila, negative 9 minus 0. Pila man na? Absolute value of negative 9. Pila absolute value negative 9? 9. 9. Right. Ayan, pila po na gunan ni mo na? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... Six, seven, eight, nine. Nine units. Wala man yung centimeters. Not long. Di ba? Kung para, para systematic siya, ato siyang i-kuan ng kuan niya. I-minus lang. Pwede po, zero minus negative nine. Still, nine gap on siya. Absolute value. How about the distance of segment EF? Distance. Segment EF. So, ito ka nga absolute value kaya you're referring to distance man na pila man. Pila class? Five, ma'am. Ha? Pila? Five. Okay, so ano ito siya? I-minus siya siya, no? Six. Yeah. Pwede po one minus six po siya. Six minus one. Hindi man ang ipangita. 6 minus 1, pila man na. Pwede na po 1 minus 6 pa rin. Yara na atas. 6 minus 1 is 5. Kaya isa, absolute value of negative 5. The same or gapon? This is or... Pila absolute value of 5? Five? 5, no? Absolute value of negative 5? Five. 5. Five. Okay. 5 units. Ang sabda ng distance. So, pag mag-solve ng distance, gani, get the absolute value. Okay, possible man ko, kung hindi mo kuha absolute value, negative yung dis distance. Pero you need to have absolute value. Basta distance. Okay, next. Distance between two points. Oh, pero itong gigi na gaya na. Distance AB between two points A and B are with coordinates A and B respectively is given by the absolute value of A and B. In which, at itong gisaw gaya na. Ito pero gaya na. So, okay ni? AB. Natin coordinates A and B. Pwede bali-bali yun class. Mauna gaya po ng answer. A minus B or pwede po B minus A. Mauna itong gibuat gaya na. Okay? Another example. The distance between A and C is given by 
AC, negative 9 minus negative 1, pwede po, negative 1 minus negative 9. They are both equal to 8 units. Ini, absolute value of kan man eh. Pila man negative 9 minus negative 1? Pila class? Negative 9, pata integer na po da, minus negative 1, subtraction, pila? 8. Negative 8. Okay. Keep change, change. Keep the sign of 9. Negative 9. Uh, change the operation from minus yung positive, eh, plus. Then, ang negative 1, change the sign, so yung positive. Negative 9 plus 1, different ang sign, so minus. So, 9 minus 1, 8. And copy the sign of the bigger number, bigger absolute value number, which is 9. So, negative siya. So, absolute value of negative 8 is just 8. May sabda na. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Any negative 1 minus negative 9? Definitely, absolute value of 8. They're both equal to 8. So, no, the distance between B and F is given by negative 5 minus 6 or pwede po 6 minus negative 5. Equal gya po siya sa 11 units. Naintindihan? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Proceed to sa other concepts. Na te figure dra, no? Betweenness of points. So, na siya naming called between. Um, like po to siyang betweenness of points. So, example, ang tawag niya kay segment addition postulate. If three points A, B, and C are collinear and A, B plus B, C equals A, C, then B is between A and C. So, A is a sound story. Yeah. So, natay points A, B, and C. Wait, no, 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 figure. So, drawing na lang ko. Ani A, B, o din ang C. They are collinear, ha? Maklaro man na, collinear points si A and points A, B, C. Tapos, the length of AB, so kini siya. Then add to the length of BC. Add po daw ang length of BC. Add daw siya. Is equal to AC. Figure out ninyo. Nalit mo ng measurement. So, the length of AB, plus the, the length of segment AB, Plus the length of segment BC is equal to the length of segment AC. So, kini pa yung length and plus po daan niya, definitely equals to AC. So, if that does, if that's the case, then we can conclude that B is in between A and C. So, kung in general na ito pag-storya ng kuan, betweenness of points or segment addition postulate, if there are three points, if three points, if three collinear points, uh, if three points are collinear and the sum of the first and two, uh, the, sum, the sum of the length of from first to second point plus the length of from second to third point, then it is equal to the length of the first and third points. Then that second point is in between the three, the two points, which are the first and the third. Ano na ang pag-generalize? Nakuha ninyo? Yes, ma'am. Kuha, class? So, example, in figure one. So, si XY, na ano si XY? Iyang, iyang length na kay one, two, three, four, five, six. Six. Segment YZ. Si YZ da. Si YZ. Tara. One, two, three, four, five. So, five po siya. It is equal to XZ, which is 11. 11. No. 
So thus, point Y is in between X and Z. Nakuha? Balik, kung imong isam ang, ang length sa dua ka segments that is equal to the whole segment na length, definitely katong um, katong uh, in between na point, di po makonsider nga itong atong atyod, no? That is between the two points katong sa kilid, itong first and third, first and last point. Naintindihan? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Ah, no, 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 no. Okay. Okay, definition of congruent segments. Figure 1, gapon lang yun. Two segments, segment A, B, and C, D. Segment C, D are congruent. Then, not as kung A, B, segment A, B is congruent to segment C, D. If and only if their measures are equal, then then you can say that the length of segment AB is equal to the length of segment CD. Ako nyo na mention gay na. Ing ani ang dif actually ang difference sa, sa congruent segments para maklaro niyo ha. If atong if then statement, if two segments. Uh, Equal lens if two segments or if you don't have a sign and then a state, then they are congruent. Baliw na to sad if two segments are congruent, tino na karo are congruent then they have equal lengths. Now, isang tana. Bisayaw na ito kung ang dua ka segments equal ilang length pasabot, they are congruent. In the same way, if the two segments are congruent, then they have the same length. Na, yeah. So, the na. Yes, ma'am. Just like the example, Dere, YT measure two units. ZV, segment ZV has two units, length of two units. So, since they're equal, therefore, segment YT is congruent to segment ZV. Question? Question, class? None, ma'am. None, ma'am. None, ma'am. Okay. Next. Definition of midpoint of a segment. Katong gain na between to no. Pag yung kag between, it doesn't mean middle. Pero kung yung midpoint, kay middle dyan siya. Midpoint of a segment is a point that divides the segments into two congruent segments. So, bot ka sa bot, ang kanang midpoint na divide na siya sa isa ka segment into two congruent segments. So, example, atong i-drawing si XY. Hindi naman tumabalikan. So, kung maunin siya, I know. Mani si X, Y. Mapo ni si S. Kini si X, Y. Measure 6 units. No? And then, si Y, S pod. Measure 6 units. They're equal, no? So, kung nga na ang kaso... Pasabot, y is the midpoint. Y is the midpoint of segment XS. Sometimes, so mula ang definition sa midpoint. Pero kung mula yung gidivide, katong siya nga point, wala niya gidivide into two congruent segments, that means to say that certain point is not the midpoint. It could be between lang siya. Dili siya midpoint. Naintindihan. 
Yes, ma'am. Okay, next. Yes, ma'am. Next is definition of segment by sector. From the word by sector. A segment by sector is a line. Pwede po siya segment, pwede po siya ray, pwede po siya plane. That intersects the segment at its midpoint. So, intersect mo siya at its midpoint. Subot pa sabot. Magkaroon ka ng congruent segments dito. Congruent or equal. I'm not sure kay. Naman sa midpoint. So, example, itong ganina... Right, dito no? Plane P and line L intersects at segment XS at its midpoint Y. Therefore, the plane P and line L are bisectors of segment XS. Like dito. Let's see segment XS. CXS Mag na line tapos si plane P ni intersect sa midpoint ng Y. Nakuha ang figure 1 figure 1. Focus on figure 1. Si si as line XS uh na intersect niya si plane P na intersect siya sa midpoint ng Y. And another line put also Nang intersect po siya sa midpoint ng Y. Si midpoint to Y, na na siya sa line X, ay segment XS. So therefore, si plane P and line L are called segment bisector. In short, bisaya na to, siya, sila ang mm, yeah, nagtunga, tigtunga, bisector ba? Bisector sa isa ka segment. Manang segment by sector ang tawag niya. Sab na? Yes, ma'am. Question. Natulog ng uban. Okay, yes, kini class kini na ako maedit ano no. Missing pa po, ma'am. Ha? Missing pa ka very good. Okay, between S of rays, if three rays, ray A, B, ray A, C, and ray A, D are coplanar, and the measure of angle C, A, B, plus the measure of angle C, A, D, is equal to the measure of angle B, A, D, then ray A, C, is between between ray A B and ray A D. Ako siguro yung A drawing ang figure two. Figure two, figure two. So ang figure two ane siya. Assuming no equal. So, so three rays, so say ray AB, ray AC, ray AD. Then the measure of angle CAB, CAB is okay. Ne? Plus the measure of angle BAD, BAD, BAD. I ah, know. CAB, no, you know. Angle CAD, CAD is okay. Na po, na angle. Um, plus, kini isa gina, one arc you know, ang isa dua ka arc that means to say they have the same different measure pero kung silang dua dua ka arc akong gibutang equal sila ang measure nakuha niyo sa mga symbols kay manggawas na siya sa kuan hindi nga sa maning kung sa'yo difference aning na isa na so definitely si angle si AB o si angle si AD they, are, they have the same measure kay Ng number of arcs ang gibutang. So, the measure of angle CAB plus the measure of angle CA, CAD is in, equal to the measure kining hula da yun, angle BAD. Nakita ninyo? Kaini siya. Kining tulog. 
Sabtan? Picture yes, out in your class. So therefore, uh, ray AC, ray AC is between sigma, I mean ray AB and ray AD. So money shy betweenness of rays between siya. Okay na? Question? Then, ma'am. Okay, our okay. next is between us, a uh, definition of angle by sector. Pertante po ni angle by sector. So, kung, uh, the same figure class, ay, layo na lang akong drawing. An angle bisector is a ray that divides an angle into two congruent angles. So, but first of all, the angle A, angle A, the ray AC, it is called angle bisector. Kung unsaman only if the measure of angle CAB, tayo yung CAB is equal to the measure of angle CAD. Kwal ba? So na example class na ay problem. Suppose ray AC bisects. Angle BAD and the measure of angle CAB is equal to 3x plus 2 degrees. And the measure of angle CAD is equal to 4x minus 9 degrees. Okay. My question is solve for x. Solve for x. Saan man na, ma'am? So, kini, identified na ni siya nga si Ray AC ka angle by sector. So, I said, said, kung angle by sector, so, divide niya ang, ang isa ka buong angle into two congruent angles. Okay? Muna ang itawag siya angle by sector. Tig tunga sa angle. Tunga into two congruent parts. So, same lang. Since, di ba, si angle CAB solution. Di ba si CAB kay, makonsider ba nga equal si CAD pod? Angle CAD and sa angle CAB, are they, are they equal in measure? Class? Are they? Yamangi yeah, suppose the re segment AC is an angle by sector. Na si AC class O? Bot pa sa bot, angle by sector man siya. So we could conclude that angle, the measure of angle A C A B is equal to the measure of angle C A B. So muna ang equal na to siya. Nakuha. Question. Are you there? Are you there? Yes, ma'am. Nakuha ninyo. Nalibo po gamay, ma'am. 
Malik, pag yung angle bisector is a ray that divides an angle into two congruent angles. So, in this figure, si ray AC is an angle bisector. Unsa iyang gitunga ang angle? Si angle BAD. Gitunga niya, gidivide niya, ang angle BAD into two congruent angles. Ang sayang two congruent angles? Si angle CAB is congruent to angle CAD. Visualize niyo? Awa. Awa. CAB. Yes, ma'am. Ito nga na. So, karun ay problema. Suppose segment AC bisects angle BAD. So, therefore... And then, after you given, um, the measure of angle CAB is 3x plus 2 degrees, and the measure of angle CAD is 4x plus 9 degrees. So, so for x. So, in this juncture, in the mention of CAC, ray AC, angle by sector man, so we can say that the measure of angle CAB is equal to the measure of angle CAD. Is that done? Congruent angles, man, so both possible, they're equal in measure. Remember the definition of um, congruent angles. Nakuha. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. So, plug in. Ang saan gali ang measure ni angle si AB? Ang saan measure ni angle si AB? 3x plus 2. Okay, correct. C, C, A plus D. 4X minus 9. Okay. So, pwede na ito na si exchange. Ah, pwede na po siya i-equal. Bali na ito. 4X minus 9 equals, nga naman, na foreseen naman good na kung nga man negative yung X. Yung nga nang negative. So, let's transpose. Transpose 3X. So, minus 3X na siya. 2X. Transpose 9, so minus 9 na. Follow? Okay. 4x minus 3x, pila man na? Ah, oh, mali ko. Minus 9 ba? Basta yung transpose? Plus ba ni siya? Ay, from negative 9, mo siyang positive 9. Ay, kung may mo siyang 4x minus 3x, x ang answer. X. Correct. 2 plus 9, pila? 11. 11. 11. Uh, 11 degrees, no? Karoon, mga tanak ko. So then, what is the measure of angle BAD? So, the measure of angle BAD. So, on muna. Solve the angle of the measure of angle BAD. Saan man? Isubstitute ang kwan? Ha? X nga. Ha? Isubstitute. So, atong isolve 3x plus 2 degrees. So, 3. Ang sagiling x? 11. Hello? Plus 2. 3 times 11? 33. Plus 2? Pila mana? 35. 35. So 35 degrees. Another one, the measure of angle CAD. 4x minus 9. So, 4. Ang sagali x? 11. Minus 9. 4 times 11? 44. Minus 9? 44 minus 9? 35. Dibap ang the measure of angle CAB plus the measure of angle CAD. Okay, equal to the measure of angle CAD. Ano? Ah, B E D day. B E D. So thirty five plus thirty five. 
is equal to 70 degrees. So, to the measure of angle BAD kai 70 degrees. Is it done? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Question. Question? None, ma'am. Okay, if there are no questions, 